Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody commented on one of my videos when I move stuff around, like this is a gray and a black, and this isn't the best scenario, but I drew it the other day and I thought I'd share it. I would do it like this, nudge that out of the way off your print screen, run this at 100 power 50 speed, nudge that out of the way, and put this back and run it at 80 power at 80 speed. So you're gonna have less of a, you're gonna have more control. And what I like about that, you can rerun it if it's not quite dark enough. Cause this is really, this isn't the best scenario. Normally I would have something on laying on top that's a light gray and I would engrave the first part really deep. And then I would lightly, I would take the black out and sand it. And then I would run the, the gray just real lightly. And what I like about that, like I said before, if it's not quite dark enough, I could run it at, you know, 100 speed and 50 power. So these two, I actually ran like that. This isn't the best scenario. The black is deeper, but you can't really tell it in the picture. And the gray's not. I ran them in two separate jobs. This one, I ran both of them at the same time at 100 power and 50 speed. The gray, the black is deeper, but the gray is darker just because of the wood, I guess. So let's get rid of this picture for a second. And I'm gonna show you how to do it in layers. Go to Windows, Dockers, Objects, and you've got both these on layer one. If you go to right here to this gear looking thing and go layers, make a new layer, it's gonna make a layer two. I'm gonna take the three objects that are gray and just move them up to layer two. Now I can take this layer and not print it and print layer one. It's just, that's an open printer and a closed printer. I've never had a laser hooked up to this laptop, but uh, you can actually see it on the screen when you go to print. It only shows what you're gonna print. It doesn't show you the other layer. And then when you get that done, take that off and turn that printer off. So now it's just gonna do the gray and you could print it at whatever speed you wanted. And it's, it's gonna uh, run in power. Now you could do this in color mapping, but it would take you longer. I still like my idea of just moving it out of the way. And, uh, but maybe if you had a lot of parts that you couldn't group together and you had them in a layer, you could do that. But anyway, I think that person for suggesting that and hope that helped a little bit. Thank